What's up guys, the Hackspot here, and as you guys know, the iOS 12.3 and above jailbreak has been released. Essentially, this could jailbreak any version of iOS 13, so that is incredible. And down below in the description, I will post an entire list of all the compatible devices that support this jailbreak. So, with that said, go and check below in the description to see if your device is compatible. And the cool thing about this jailbreak is that it basically uses a exploit in these devices that can never be patched. So it's basically a permanent jailbreak, so you don't have to worry about updating your phone. So that is cool. I mean, don't update your phone while you're jailbroken, but just in case you do update, you can read jailbreak, so that is amazing. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so sorry I'm late. I know this jailbreak came out yesterday, but I was sick. I literally threw up like six times, so that was not fun, but thankfully I'm feeling better. So anyways, for this right now, this is only available for Mac right now, and unfortunately you will be needing a computer, so yeah. You need a Mac right now, and just for the heck of it, this is procedural, let me show you guys that I am indeed on iOS 13, so there it is, 13.1.3. This is the iPhone 10. again, complete device support list down below in the description. So first thing we're gonna do is plug in our device to our computer and make sure their device is trusted. So if it pops up on your device to say trust computer, go ahead and hit trust, so there it is, trust. All right, and now we're good on that part. So now what you wanna do is open up your internet browser. I'm going to be using Google Chrome, of course, because it's the best. And down below in the description will be this link posted. So you guys can see over here it says, get the beta now. So all you gotta do is go right here to download for Mac OS. So I will have the direct link right here. So all you guys gotta do is tap on that button. And there you go, so it's downloading right there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and actually open it up. All right, there it is, we don't need an internet browser anymore. And I'm just gonna go and skip this. All right, so all we gotta do is drag this to our applications folder, just like that. I'm gonna replace it, I already have it on my computer, but I'm just gonna re-put it there to show you guys the entire process. Let's go to open up our applications folder, and there it is, check range. So what you guys wanna do is right click on your Mac, so hold on the control button, or just use a two finger tap, whatever you want to do, and right click on it and click on open. That's how you wanna open it up, otherwise it will not open. So click on open, and this will pop up, simply hit open again, and you can X out of here, you can X out of here, and let's go ahead, okay, it didn't open, let's go back, okay, let's go back to the applications folder, and let's click on check rain again. So I'm gonna double click on it now, since we already did that procedure, and there it is, so. Now you can just go and double click on it since we already did that right click open thing. But I'll start a screen recording here so you guys can see better. But anyways, it's basically saying that's my device right there, iPhone 10, GSM, iOS 13.1.3. All we're gonna do is click on start on the bottom right over there. So I'm gonna go and click on start. And let's go ahead and go to next. And this will basically put our phone into recovery mode so we can get ahead and uh, start jailbreaking our phone. So you guys can see my phone is basically unresponsive right now. Do not touch it like I did. But yeah, just gonna leave it alone and just wait for this process. And then after this, we're gonna be putting it in DFU mode. All right, and just like that, you guys can see my phone is now in DFU mode. And now we gotta do these steps that are highlighted right here. Now this part can get a little bit tricky and annoying. It's kinda like the red snow days, so you just gotta follow the steps and just make sure you hold the buttons for the correct amount of time to put it in DFU mode. So let's go ahead and follow the steps. Make sure to read through them before actually going ahead and starting just so you know what to do. And you can try this multiple times. If you do fail, th that's not a problem. Don't worry about it, it's gonna try again. All right, so I believe I'm ready. Let's go ahead and click on start, and here we go. So I'm gonna actually be using both hands, and all right, okay. Take a deep breath, here we go. Ready, three, two, one, side button. Okay, just holding down for three more seconds, and we're gonna let go, boom, and then hold down both the volume down and side button. Okay, two, one, and let go of the side button. Keep on holding down the volume button. Now, I think I could hold down the volume button for even longer to ensure better success, so I might hold it down longer than it's saying. It's gonna do that, and it looks like it didn't work. Okay, let's go and try again. Okay, and we're back, so here we go. I'm gonna hit start. Get ready, three, two, one, boom. All right, holding down the side button, and let go. Hold down both the volume down and power button. One, let go of the side button and keep on holding down the volume down button. I think I got it this time. It's be like super spot on. So, 
Oh, there we go. All right. So you have to be super spot on, like with the. All right. As soon as it like comes up and highlights on there, you have to be on those buttons. Okay. So again, you could try this multiple times, as you guys saw right there. It's really um, doesn't. <laughs> you, like, nothing happens if you mess up. All you do is start over again. And look at this. We get all the code running. I like seeing that. I like seeing the code running. Okay, so I'm just gonna just keep it on screen right here to show you guys what happens. It says booting right there. And I think we're almost done. Now this is a semi uh, untethered jailbreak. So that means that you can turn off your phone, but when you do reboot it, the jailbreak will be unactive. So to reactivate the jailbreak, you have to rejoin the jailbreak app that we get right here. So I think, okay, it says all done right here. I'm gonna click on done. And now we can exit out of the program and we're basically done with the computer. So I can actually go ahead and unplug my device. All right, so that wasn't too hard, but that does require some precision. Anyways, we get the app right here. You can see check rain. Let's go ahead and tap on it to open it up. And we do want Cydia, so let's go ahead and tap on the Cydia icon. Unfortunately, you cannot get Cilio from here. I do prefer Cilio now. Just install Cydia, but anyways, let's go ahead and start uh, downloading base system. Downloading Cydia, installing Cydia. So this one, I believe, has a higher success rate. You don't have to try as many times as you would with previous jailbreaks and just hope that it works and get lucky. You just have to get that DFU mode process right and that's basically all on you. So here we go, installing Cydia and yeah. So if your phone does get stuck in recovery mode and you do want to get out of it and just want your phone to be back to normal, then what you could do is install a program called REI Boot. I'll put a link down below in the description. It's not sponsored, but they did want to sponsor video, but Unfortunately, it's not this one. So yeah, uh, you could go in and click on that program and then you could, there's a button to enter recovery mode and exit recovery mode. So if you want to do that, you can use that program as well. But anyways, here we are and it did work. So yeah, I can see I now have Cydia just like magic on my phone. And this is so, so cool. It's on iOS 13 guys. And this is an exploit that cannot be patched. So that's what's incredible about this. It's basically checkmate. So that's why it's called check rain because they basically found an exploit that cannot be patched. So this is amazing. Look at Cydia loads up right off the bat. It's not even asking me to upgrade essentials, so that's cool. And anyways, now I'm gonna be showing you guys some top tweaks that you guys can install. Top tweaks that you guys can install. I couldn't find that many, but here we go. Okay, so let's talk about some tweaks to install. So I did find five that are compatible with iOS 13 right now. And I was kind of hurried, so I just wanted to see which ones are working to show you guys some tweaks and what you could do with the jailbreak. Now, for any of these tweaks, if you do need to add a source to be able to find the tweak in Cydia, I will put the source or repo down below in the description, so you go and add it. And for those of you guys who are new to jailbreak, to add a source, all you got to do is open up Cydia, head over to source on the bottom, tap on edit on the top right, and add on the top left. And this is where you'll add your source. Once you just add the source, you'll have the source and all the packages and tweaks in it. So then you can just go and search for the tweak and install it. So anyways, once you have the tweaks installed, they will all appear in your settings application at the very bottom where you can enable and disable them and also modify the settings of the tweak. So you guys see all my tweaks right here. So this first tweak is called swipe selection. It's very handy. So I don't like to actually like force touch my phone. I just like to be able to swipe very easily just like that. And you can also go ahead and use a delete key and swipe over to highlight the text. And same thing goes for if you just go ahead and Let's go back over here, let's go to the beginning. And I go ahead and just use the cursor right here, the caps lock, and uh, go ahead and select from there too. So highlight it from there too. So I really like swipe selection a lot more than using the, any other gesture on a keyboard. This runs so much smoother. You don't have to like force down your keyboard. So again, this tweak is called swipe selection, a must have for me. This next tweak is called Spot of Life. So once you install it, it basically is Spotify plus plus, except on a jailbroken device. So with this, it actually activates in the main Spotify application they download from the app store. So basically it will never get revoked. So you don't have to download any tweaked application. This is the real application and it is working. So if we go over here, yeah, I can see I can skip and as many songs as I want. I could also go back songs. I could play any song that I want just by going and searching for it and playing it. And also there are no advertisements. So again, this tweak is called Spot of Life. This next tweak is called Haptic Keys and it does exactly as the name says. So every time you tap on a key on your keyboard, it does vibrate and give you kind of like a taptic or haptic feedback. So it's like nice to have some feedback every time you press down on a button. It's very subtle, but I do like it a lot. So again, this tweak is called Haptic Keys. 
Now, if I go to bring a sound control center, you guys can see I have like these glow around my icons right there. So that is called toggle glow, tog, tog glow. It's called Toggle. <laughs> so yeah, all the tweaks will be mentioned will be down below in the description. But this one is called Toggle. And one more tweak is called Zen HTML. So you guys can see I've had these like kind of particles moving in the background. Looks pretty cool. It's a nice effect. And if I add a theme to my phone and just make it look a lot nicer, this will look even cooler. But to enable this, all you gotta do is open up settings. You gotta go down to Zen HTML, and then you gotta go to lock screen or home screen, wherever you wanna enable it. And let's go tap on background widgets, and all you gotta do is tap on add widgets and add the background particles, and that is about it. So make sure it's enabled over here at the top, and you guys are basically good to go. So very easy to use, and there are some other widgets that you guys can install to make it even cooler. All right, guys, but that is it for now. I want to find more tweaks to show you guys, but I did go through a bunch of tweaks that I did miss in the past days, and uh, a lot of them are not compatible at the moment. So I really want tweaks like Dreamboard and V Wallpaper, and some really great tweaks that have really made Jurabike and really cool for me in the past to be updated. And yeah, so I'll try to find some more cool stuff. If I do, I'll make a video on them. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section below. If you have any cool tweaks that you want to share, again, leave that down below in the comments as well. Please be sure to smash that like button. Also be sure to sh hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release a new video. So hit that notification bell as well. And yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy your joke break. This is the Hackspot, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.